Some cops don't respect the law and the constitution that they are meant to uphold, so it's satisfying to see them get caught red-handed. These are some of the cases that show just that. Just like this first guy who shamed the PD for their incompetence on their home turf. Cameras are recording devices without prior approval. City administration. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thank you. How can I help you? Um, what office is this? I'm the city administrator. You're the city administrator? Well, you're a public official, obviously. You're the city administrator. I'm not elected. That, that wouldn't matter. Yes, it does. That if you're you not elected? If you doors, yeah. I am not elected. But that doesn't matter. You still work for the government. If you go to our doors, you still work for the say, public. I'm not, I'm not escorting. Oh, I don't I'm think you talking, are. But it's, they got to sign up. Um, can't record that's, inside the building here. That sign is unconstitutional, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm an independent journalist. So I have freedom of okay, press. But the problem is state law you can't they got to sign up in, unless they give you permission mm -hmm. to come in city hall and yeah you have to well i have business channels. i have business to conduct here as well as my business of exercising my freedom of press i'm, I'm working on a story on the city hall here, let's go, for let's transparency go here and accountability and, and this is ruth siaba green city administrator of berwin her husband, David Green, the division commander, has been previously sued multiple times, costing taxpayers over $80,000 in settlements. He is still being promoted because his wife is the city administrator. What's your purpose? What you, why are you here? Do so you my, pur business my purpose. You just videotape so my purpose here, I've, I explained it to the detective and this officer. My purpose here is to, um, I'm working on a story, freedom of press. I'm exercising my freedom of press rights. I'm an freedom of press rights. I'm an independent journalist. And also, I'm conducting business as far as doing a Freedom of Information you got Act. A journalist kind of card or something. A journalist card? No, yeah, no, I didn't make myself one. Have press cards and stuff. I mean, I could make myself one, but the Constitution gives me the right of freedom of press. You know, it's so not how, not just journalists. How how long uh, until my story until my story is done? Could you give me an estimate? Um, depends on how long. I need to do a Freedom of Information Act request. Even after explaining it multiple times, officers were still annoyingly asking him about his purpose and why he does this. What's your name? Oh, uh, I'm not going to give my name. But why? Um, I just choose not to. Here's my name, Sergeant Volante. Okay. Sergeant Volante? Yeah. Thank you. Well, why won't you give me your name? I just don't have to. Okay. That's all. I'm trying to be polite. Yeah. public building and why would Some anybody care just don't like to be recorded for no reason i mean not there's like cam there's recorded. cameras all over the place these cops were treating him like he broke into their house some government employees didn't want to be recorded so they walked him out of the building okay. yeah sure sure what other uh places what other city houses have you been to oh a bunch a bunch a bunch like what what's a bunch just ones around here. Right. Never saw that statue before. No, That's interesting. It's up there, so. Yeah, I would love. I would thank you for looking it up for me. This idiot cop was unable to read the poster and even Googled it to understand. What are these dumb cops doing in these positions? All right, well, seems like everybody's leaving. Hey, Detective, I'm not being detained, am I? Right now, just hang on a minute. Am I being detained, sir? Both of these officers were trying to figure out something they did not know. It looked like nothing but a waste of time. How about I grab his, try and grab his phone out of his hands, and let's see what you do. Put your hand down. Sir, there's no need for it. You just saw him. You just saw him. It's on camera. You can't, it's, you just saw what he did. Come on, man. That's not, that's not cool. Am I being detained, sir? Right now, until we get this sorted out. Yes. We're, we're, we're talking. We're talking. If I'm not being detained, I'm going to go back inside and finish my business. You can't go back inside there. So I'm there's being detained. No, there's no recording in there. So I'm being detained. So, yes, you are right now. I'm being detained. Until we That's... sort this matter out. Oh, okay, great. Yes. Unlawful, this is an unlawful detainment, that's what it is. As the officers were at their best trying to stop him from going inside the building, 
Officer Monaco tried to grab his camera and detained him until they found any lawful reason to arrest him. You just said it, not me. Yeah, you just said I'm being detained. You said yes. You, right now, your words were right now I'm being detained. Exactly. That's what you just said. Investigation of what crime? What crime do you suspect me of committing? Sorting this out. Who do you work for? That you said you're I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm not talking to you anymore. You're a tyrant. You grab my phone. You put your hands on me. Don't ever do that again. That's that thin blue line, right? Where you guys just back each other up, no matter what. If I try to take your phone right now, just think about it logically. If I try to take your phone or do so or touch you in any way. I didn't take your phone. I was moving it out of my face. You're moving it out of your face. Yeah, because I don't want you recording. Well, I am. So. Don't you see I'm still recording you? I'm still recording you and I'm not gonna I'm stop giving, recording you. And I'm giving you the respect. That's why I'm not moving. Respect is not touching me, no. No, that's not respect. That's not respect. Monaco was a pathological liar, immediately backing off from what he just said. These officers don't even have a single reason to stop him outside. They were harassing Sean in the name of investigation. Well, I can't move because I'm detained, so I'll stay right here. What other the business did you have inside? I wanted to... I have. I don't. I don't want to talk to you guys anymore. I'm gonna. I'm gonna remain silent. I'm not gonna answer any more questions. I'm being detained at this point. So. So. State statute reads you can't video record private conversations. Finally, these retards after this long time came up with something to handcuff Sean. Let's find out. You can keep the phone. Can I have your other hand, please? All right, you told me to keep the phone. Keep I don't want it to stop recording. Okay. I don't want it to stop Bye. recording. Why are you doing your big boy? It'll be Charles Union, one, two. Five nine zero. Yeah, this is a big day. <laughs> Where are you at? You said I could keep my phone in my hand. So right now, I yeah. just took you it just out took of his it. hand because oh. I don't want him to drop it. You put it in his pocket there. And here they arrested him for doing nothing unlawful and illegal. They don't care. The people will pay the lawsuit, and these corrupt officers will be promoted. Take them down. Take them down. I know. I would like you to take those down, too. That would be awesome. You know you can. You gotta, you gotta you know go to order order against against Mr. Lord Rand. Wait, let's get him. Governor let's, let's get, let, he's taking down at least those. Take them down. It's not your king. Down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! One more! Yeah! Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Woo! After all this went viral, the mayor arrived at that building just to show his fake patriotic image by taking two posters off the door. We as citizens absolutely convey the power. Once we give it to others, we have to be careful how they use it. Now watch how this man gets treated by troops for getting a foyer request. Stop pushing me. I'm trying to get in. I'm trying you to get in the, in the building. You can't in the building. You have no business here. I do have business here. Stop acting like a, like, a, like a savage. Here, Sean recounts an incident where he visited the Connecticut Police Department and was dealt with in this manner. Say, so how are you? Hey, how are you? You already told me you didn't have anything here. Oh, yeah. Do. I just got to do some foyer requests and things some like what? that. A foyer request for your body camera footage and... Sergeant uh, Brian Fahey's uh, disciplinary record. You can have to send it in, in, in writing. Yeah. Who's the guy behind you that called? I have to conduct, I have to conduct uh, business here, Sergeant. Sir, what can we do for you? Come on in. Oh, you're yeah, the Sergeant pistol, pistol Performance, aren't you? Come on in. Go ahead, come on in, sir. sir. Excuse me, sir, you have to get sir. out of the way. Sir, Excuse I know me, sir. I know your inclination is wanting to assault me, Excuse Sergeant. Me, Stop pushing me. I'm trying to get in. 
I'm trying you to get in the building. You can't in the building. You have no business here. I do have business here. Stop acting like a, like a, like a savage. What are you Back doing? Up before I arrest you. As he tells the officer that he is here to have a FOIA request, Sergeant Brian Fahey instantly comes and ignores his appeal and tries to shut the door aggressively. Back up take my phone again. I have other Back up before I arrest you. Back her up. body camera's on. That's fine. Get you away like from the do door. You don't need to block camera. the door. Don't block the door. No one's scared of you, Sergeant. I didn't say you were. Don't block the door. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I'm not scared of you. Don't lock the door. Do what you gotta do. Don't do lock the door. Do. do what you gotta do, because I'm not scared of you, Sergeant. I'm allowed to come into this building. The guy goes head to head with the sergeant and doesn't get scared by his threats. He bravely took the stand for his right. Correct. Thank you. Sergeant Brian Fahey just took my camera yet again. The coward that he is. He just took my camera yet again and stopped it from recording. But the officer that talked to us in the parking lot, her body camera was recording. We're gonna make another internal affairs complaint on him. This is incredible. Right, exactly, it happened right over here, ladies and gentlemen. Right over here. Right here, right where we're standing. Look at him. Just witnessed somebody get assaulted and their property taken from them and not do anything about it, Trooper. Is that standard operating procedure? Because there's the criminal right there in front of you. If you'd like to place him under arrest, Trooper. He just assaulted me and took my property and violated my First Amendment right. But no, these troopers aren't going to do anything about that, right? Here the guy appeals to another trooper passing by him who acted like there was no one talking to him and muted the body cam of the other officer so that the truth remained silent. Can you come on in? Thank you. Anything in your pockets, go ahead and take out. So, please, sure. wallet, put right over here. Is Sergeant Brian Fahey one of those important people that we're, that's in this building, ma'am? The one that you just saw assault me and didn't do anything about it as a law enforcement officer? Why are you so mad, Sergeant? I'm not mad. I hope you have a great day. Oh, yeah, after you yeah. assaulted me, right? I didn't assault yes, you. Yes, you did. You did it last time. You did it again. Okay. Because you're scared. You wouldn't do it without a uniform. Because I'm what? You, you're scared. Oh, you yeah. wouldn't do it without that gun on your hip and that badge. You wouldn't do it without that You phone. wouldn't do it. Let's, let's, let's take them all off, right? You just watched a man assault me and grab my camera, interfering with a constitutionally protected activity. You're a law enforcement officer who took an oath to uphold the Constitution. Are you going to do anything about that? I saw you get in his face as well. So I did see so you saw me get. You saw it on body camera? Yeah, the body camera. We'll get you the body can, camera, can, that's for sure. You can see that you but you were there. stopped him trying to get you from entering. He I'm allowed you, to enter into the building. told you to get a report, right? He told, he told me to, to submit something in submit. writing. Yes. Yeah, I, but I'm gonna have a right to be here. They told you, but I have a right to come in here and conduct business. Thing? He has and no right to put their hands, he has no right to put his hands on me. At last, he gets allowed in the building, but still Sergeant Brian Fahey's attitude was visible on his face. They do all this when they have that gun and badge with them. The you, did you watch him put his hands on me or not? Did he put his hands on me or not? Did he put his hands on me or not? Ma'am, did he put his hands on me or not? Once I saw you do what you did. Once, what did I do? When you physically tried to stop him, open the door. I tried to come inside the building because I'm allowed to. Just like I'm inside Not the building right now. I I'm inside Lee the building. Was talking to you because they requested you to come so, in. If you didn't have an appointment, I just want to know. Listen, I'm going to be on my way. I'm going to be on my way. The damage is. I was already assaulted. Did you watch? You watch him assault me. Are you going to do anything about it? Yes or no? Are you going to do anything about it? See the video. Then you're going to be held accountable. Are you going to do anything about it? Yes or no? Look how this officer keeps ignoring everything that happened in front of her eyes just to defend a corrupt maniac of their department. In the next case, Sean is back, and this time, he has the whole PD called on him. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. He was visiting the Nassau County office building in Mineola, New York, and it all started with a minor disagreement. I don't have a driver's you have license. Any picture ID on you? No, I don't have yeah, picture, like ID. picture ID. picture ID. You gotta have something with a picture ID. Hi. This, but this is a government building, ma'am. Why would yes. I need Why would I need picture ID to come into a government building? Because I don't need picture ID even to vote. Why? Does that seem silly? You could vote for the president of the United States without a picture ID, but I can't come see a county clerk you know, without picture you ID. Scan you in. You could just write my name no. down. What are you here for? I need to see the county clerk. About what? I need to do an open records request. I'm a journalist. 
right, just stand over there. Hold on a second. It's important to note that there is no law in presenting an ID before entering a federal building. Uh, what is your name? Ben. Yeah. Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin? Correct. What's your date of birth, Ben? Why do you need my date of birth? What is your date of birth? Do you want to come in this building? Yeah, I have business to conduct, ma'am. I, I just don't see why this is not Nazi Germany. Germany. I don't see why I would need to What's give... What's your date of birth? I need your address. Call the way, please. You're not allowed to video you or tape. Drink. I'm sorry? No. Please call the way. Why, why can't I... I'm asking you nicely because there's a sign posted outside that you can't do that in here. Why can't I record in here? Right here. Who are you here to see? The county clerk? I'm here to see the county clerk. I have business to conduct. I have to do a public records request. Sean was adamant about not giving his address or any identification. The receptionist brought her supervisor, who did not want to be on tape at all. So these are government buildings. Moving forward, yeah. you need ID to get in government buildings. Well, I don't need an ID Moving to pay for this government building. Sir, <laughs> right? as an officer, I can deny you to come into... That would be a very big mistake, though. Sean raises a very valid point here. What's their response? That would be a very big mistake, though. That would be a big mistake on Sir, your part. I'm telling you, you it would. have nothing on you. Now! I just want to make sure I get your name. Officer Heitman. Officer Heitman. So now, okay. if you fall down and get hurt and we have to put you in back of an ambulance, we don't know who you are. Nobody knows who you are. So that's for your safety. No. But well, let's get off it's of not, that. It's not. It's not for your it's not for my safety at all. So what are we gonna do here? My name is not gonna change me being okay. me being hurt. Do you have anything on you? I have that you can show us your name. No, no. So no, we no. can let you in. I don't have anything with my name. Okay. I don't have Hold I wanna please just stay here? Yeah, no problem, no problem. Ridiculous. That's one heck of a reason to take a civilian's ID. All right, guys, well, this is ridiculous. Put that off. I'm not turning anything off, ma'am. You are turning it off. I'm not turning it off, ma'am. We have freedom of press in this country, ma'am. And you should treat the public with more respect. And look, she says for me to turn off my camera. The biggest hypocrites of them all. They're always recording us, but the minute we record them, it's an issue. It really does feel nice when you give them a taste of their own medicine. So I can't enter in a public building and conduct services without showing some sort of government ID. That's uh, that sounds like sounds like Nazi Germany to me, not the United States of America. I go to I'm a journalist. I go to buildings all over the country and I've never been once required denied access, public access to a building if this, I don't this have This building requires uh, ID on whose authority on whose authority on what policy? Or, or is it a law, or is it a policy? It's a policy of this building. I guess Sean was becoming a handful for them. So much so that the manager had to call her manager. But even she couldn't decide if it was a policy or a law to show ID before entering a public space. No one should need uh, to show their... Unfortunately, this is the rule of the building. I mean, if you're a journalist... Then where is the so rule? Where is the rule? Can the I see the rule? Is, is Can you show me you the policy? You're enforcing a policy okay. you can't even you show me. Call, uh, it's a sign. So you can take that to me. Where? Please have picture ID ready to show the public safety. Okay, but is that I under, I understand I understand that one hundred percent. I just don't understand you that's unconstitutional and unlawful. It's unlawful to require somebody to show an ID to enter in a building that I already paid for. This head of security didn't want to show him the policy at all. Yeah? There's a sign. Must mean it's legit, right? Hi sir, how are you? What's going on? Can I just get your name and badge? My name and badge? Yeah. Um, you have to be outside though, because there is, that's another rule, you cannot video or do anything in inside man, the building. We have, we have freedom of press in this country. Okay. We have freedom um, of press in this country, no man. He has no ID. The signs are all over that say you need to have ID in order to come in a building, you need a license, it's any other thing. And that's, that's what it is. Hey sir, can I just get your name and badge number two? Ramos, 4543. Thank you, sir. Eventually, the NCPD is called to try to figure things out. Hey, I don't need an ID. There's, there's a whole policy that they got going on. So They're not even showing me that policy. They're not showing me the policy. They don't need to show your policy. They're letting you know what's going on right now. You see signs right here. It must show. It's an un ID. sir. When turn building. Sir, officer, it's an unconstitutional policy. You and your partner took an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States. Yeah. And they got to have you on. 
the trespass form, you're going to be getting arrested for trespass. Okay, so are you going to give me a trespass? Am I being trespassed on the well, building? We have a trespass form. You have to sign. That's it. If, if you have, okay, great. If you I'll inside, do that. Do that. Yep. Right, no problem. So we, we'll go ahead and do that route. Big mistake. You guys are opening yourself up to civil litigation here. Sean tried explaining to the officers what their lawful duties were, but they gave the signs more importance. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Hey, how are you doing today, Sarge? Can I, can I just get your name? Sure, uh, Sergeant McDonald. A bunch of patrol cars arrive at the scene, headed by Sergeant McDonald. Sean then explains the whole situation and the law to the sergeant, who looks like he knows what Sean was talking about. Hello. Sergeant McDonald, I just got promoted? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I figured because you said officer. Uh, but, um, what's going on today? Yeah, so I'm basically, I wanted to speak with you because I'm being trespassed from this building. Okay. I'm trying to conduct business. I'm a journalist. I'm trying to conduct business here by doing a Freedom of Information Act request. Okay. Um, they're not allowing me in the building because I don't have government ID. Okay. Um, that's unconstitutional. You can't require somebody to have ID and show ID to enter in a building. Okay. It's a building that's funded by the taxpayers. Right. You know, for security restrictions, if you want me to pass the, ma uh, the mag, I can understand that. You know, you want to know my name? Okay, but... You shouldn't have to supply ID. Now I'm being trespassed. Okay. So I wanted a supervisor here just so that way, you know, you understood that I'm being trespassed from a public building because I will be pursuing. Trespassing? I just would like to trespass. I would like to trespass warning that your officer over here said he was going to give me. You would like to trespass warning? Yes, because I'm going to take that to court and fight it. Correct. Well, what do you mean by you want the trespass warning? Well, he said he was going to give me a trespass warning that if I ever came back here, I would be arrested. They, they have to sign a form saying that you're yeah. not allowed in the building. You said they were going to do that, correct? Yeah, I okay. spoke to them. They're, saying, they're trying to see if they get a form. Okay, great. I'm saying, like, is there any information that we can help you with? No, just that, uh, other than that, and if, and if you're okay with with me being trespassed from the building, I mean, just wanted to speak to a supervisor well, regarding yeah, that. I mean, I'm going to go speak to them. So okay. If you have anything else. Uh, okay, no, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure I spoke. Every time I come in contact have, have with law enforcement. Before? No. Okay. First time here. All right, so no issues in the past right no, no, no. Sean was undoubtedly audacious. Instead of merely showing identification, he would want to use the trespass warning to bring the management to court. However, Sean's situation is more about making a statement. Hey, sir, I, I don't think I just got your name and badge number. Hey, sir. Sir. Check your camera. Can I get your name and badge number? Check your camera. Is that is that your name? Check your camera. This other officer was getting pissed off, too. Okay, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Where's the uh, city clerk? I mean, the county clerk? They're gonna help you. Oh, okay, thank you. Sean always does a great job bringing the heat to these scummy cops. His actions have given the community strength to stand up against these tyrants. And that's exactly what these guys did next. You're blocking traffic, sir. I'm doing my job. Okay. okay, we didn't say nothing now, to you. But since you're here, we didn't say anything. Okay, no importa, but now I'm saying it to you. Since you're here, I want to see both of you IDs. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Is this a joke? No, it's not. Do well, I look like I'm playing? Can you call your sergeant? Call your sergeant. You IDs. I don't have ID. I need ID. I don't have ID. No, yeah, I'm going to call my sergeant when I finish I getting I your ID. ID. I don't have okay, ID. So put your hands in there. Is this a lawful order? It is. How is it lawful? Because I'm giving it to you. Listen, listen, you okay. Know. Okay. So, so let's talk about later. Get your hands no, behind listen, your back. You're being Put your hands behind your back. I'm not resisting. No, I'm not resisting. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not resisting. What are you handcuffing him for? Wait, call your sergeant. Call your sergeant. I will. What's the crime? I will. Relax. Relax. What's the crime? What are you What's doing? The crime? What time did I come in? Can you tell me? What time did I come in? Relax. Don't worry about it. Come over here, Baba. Right there. Relax. What are you doing? Stay right there. What's your name and badge number? Don't break my. What are you doing? Breaking my arm. As if he was drunk on the power of his badge, this lunatic went into a spree and started to arrest both men who were recording him. It's important to note that you can record a police officer when they are in the process of their official duties. That's the code 901, that's 151, brother. What crime did we commit? You know the statute 901, that's 151? Okay, let's continue listening. Over him. Gotta sit. You sit on top of him. 
No, no, no. Forget. The statue the man was referring to tells us that officers are only allowed to detain people when they suspect them of committing a crime or if they show signs that they may commit a crime. What this guy did was entirely unconstitutional. The cop releases them 30 minutes later, but his cockiness still doesn't change. The one who, di the one who dictates how I do my job is me, not you. I didn't dictate nothing. Okay, so I what, what, why did I put you, you, why did I put you in the back of my car? Why did I put you in the back of my car? Because I wanted to. Thank you. Wanted to. Can you repeat that? Why, why did you because let us go? Me for what? Because I wanted to. Why did you, you let us go? I wanted to. You know you. Pablo, al peral, ahí en el banco, en el quesito. Why did you let us go? Because I have nothing to hold. So you're you're telling us we we can't stand here? We can't stand here. What Danny DeVito says here is the truth. Cops can easily violate the Constitution. He's a testament to that. Broke my phone. Bro, he broke his phone, bro. He you broke Ragamonti's phone, dog, as he was detaining oh him, God, putting I him in handcuffs, dog. I, I was already cuffed right here in a matter of 20 seconds. I broke his phone. Oh my God, I broke his phone. We don't, we don't, come, we don't come try you guys like that, bro. But you guys look for the hate. You guys earn the hate. You look for the hate. You look for you the hate, hate Papa. Do you hate me? You look for the hate. Do you hate me? I hate you because you're a bad cop, bro. Uh, you you're a bad me. piece of shit. That's oh what you are. Do you hate me? You, you want me to cry? You want me to cry? You want me to cry? Okay. Papi, why are all you bike cops like that? Hey? We, we went to Winwood and all your bike cops, they act the same way. This is how a public servant laughs after violating your rights. He's cracking jokes without a worry in the world. Soon afterwards, his superior arrives, and he did what we all saw coming. Can I ask for your ID? Did you give it to him? I don't uh, think no, we don't. We, we, you always have to give your ID. No, 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 that's not the law. Statute 901-151, unless I commit a crime, I'm about to a hat. You, know but you, you don't know if he thinks you committed a crime, right? So, so walking in the he, sidewalk, he couldn't come up with nothing. Second, he couldn't come up Let with anything. I'm, I'm Lieutenant Carpenter. Yeah, I don't know anything. Oh, Lieutenant Carpenter, you're going to be talking That's the problem, is that you guys always see it from your side. You don't know if on the radio, and I don't know. You I'm haven't seen the video. Are we you have the video. Are you going to let me talk, man? Are you going to let me talk? Okay? You don't know if they just put out a bolo right now for a guy wearing all black. You don't know, right? Do you know? I'm just asking. And I don't know if that's what happened. But the problem is you guys got to look at things from our perspective. Okay? Because when we're out here, we're not going when, to jail, right? Well, he paid a smart move, and he, and he did it. Because whatever happened, he decided you weren't that guy. But what right? statute did we what violate? What code is that? That's the violated, problem that you guys have. You, you don't understand me. Anytime an officer is conducting an investigation, you got to do what you're told, what my friend. No. Nope. You're sitting on the road. You are not the person that decides that. Officer, you okay. don't know the law. You, you're just talking. You don't know anything, bro. You're just... And this is the you, problem that you, you guys you, have. You, you, you don't know what... You're you talking out of your ass. The police, We're looking at by the law, bro. The law, sir. The law. 901.151. Add me to your complaint. Read me a statute. My name is Lieutenant Carpenter. My Lieutenant. back number is 0867. Yeah, your ass needs to be fired. If that's a lieutenant speaking, you can only tell how corrupt the whole Miami police is. Truly shameful as a society. The two men said they'd file a complaint against both the cops, but Beware of this little menace of a cop the next time you're in Miami. If you thought the last cop was a maniac, these next ones thought they were being sneaky. Hold on. January 26, 2021, during an eviction notice, Officer LaQuenda Banks, Curtis, Trailer Harris, and Deputy Derek enter a property to confiscate any illegal items, but they end up confiscating a lot more. Hold on. officer grabbed everything of value. It's like she was shopping in Walmart, but little did she know that she had accidentally turned on her body cam. Hold on, wait. Uh, what is this? Some... Some... Go on. A stinger, maybe. Go for it. No, that's a clip. To a gun. 
Yes, yeah, arugula. Okay, this is some more bullets. Um, yeah, sheriff's sure, office. Some more money. At this point, the officers discovered a magazine and some ammo, which they confiscated. This is the stuff they were meant to be looking for. When did they stare some? Oh, they, they good on. Yeah, it was a room I wanted to check. It was dark. That's the pistol. Okay. I am not sure if it's usual protocol to examine the fridge during an eviction notice. What is it? This is shit I last night. <laughs> <laughs> Piss now. I beg you. So I would hate to sanitize it. Banks stole herself a full makeup kit, laughing it off with her constable. Those glasses would look great on her when she's visiting her prison courtyard. What you think? Yeah, I think that one. The Oakleys are. They losing everything. They can't nobody touch nothing while they put it on the street. Is what I believe. So they can start doing that and we can start. Ooh. Okay. What is this? Hell yeah. This shit, this shit ain't even been used. Up. Uh. What's in here? Okay. As she walked up the stairs, excited from her theft, we could hear all the stolen stuff bouncing inside her zipper. This is our police force, America. Shameless. Oh. Ray-Bans. Okay. Hold up. What's in here? Thank you for coming in, so I too, I was getting started. Shit. All right. We done got hot. They can come in. Ooh, yeah. This is hot. You know, I need, need to go rest. I need to go sit down and rest a little bit. Oh, yeah, I need to go sit down and rest. Yeah, go sit down and rest. <laughs> we got a little, little fat over there. I'm trying to find the pocket. <laughs> How do I get in this damn pocket? Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. He ran under that that first chair. Thank you. But they coming in, so I guess get them, get them out. They can wait in their car. Banks was struggling to walk. Maybe the weight of her sins was weighing her down. At least the dog knows a criminal when he smells one. Constable Curtis, Deputy Banks, and Sergeant Derrick were arrested in November on charges of abuse of official capacity, official oppression, and property theft. But the situation inside the court was totally different. He was my boss, so I mean, I'm gonna do what he says do. I was 
forced to do it. If I would have said no, I would have most likely gotten fired. During the trial, LaQuenda turned on her supervisor, Deputy Curtis, blaming him for forcing her to steal. I worked my entire life to get here. Um, I put myself to the academy twice. And it's just something I want to do my entire life. So just the thought of it not being able to do it anymore, uh, it's devastating, but I just want to be able to move on from it. Deputy Curtis got the short end of the stick and was sentenced to five years of probation, while Sergeant Derek Holman was found not guilty and acquitted from the case. I'm glad the thieves got what they deserved, but these next lunatics made this veteran's life hell. Oh, what the is that? Oh, what the are you talking about? We're going to leave now. On May 10th, 2020, officers Tiffany Konoma and Cody Marler responded to a welfare call and were dispatched to the California home of military veteran Sergeant Sierra Hawkins. But when they arrived, they were met with a totally different story. Hello. Hey. I don't know who that is. You know who that is? No. Who's your, uh, your girlfriend or your baby mama? Lady right here. First of all, that's my wife, Marla. Okay. Marla. Okay. And who? Connor. Who are y'all looking for? One or two. Can you go with the mother's Wait, name? What's the problem? So we're here on a welfare check. We have to so make hang sure on. she's okay. Why? Because we received a call from North Bay for the incident that occurred earlier. What incident? What's your last name? Kelly. Look, look right there. Who's being investigated? If y'all investigating. Right there. Nine years, U.S. Army. Now, what's the problem? Okay. What's your first name? I don't have to identify myself to you, do I? Am I under investigation? You want to no. tell me what's going on? Want to speak from the address? Right from the get-go, the cops had a very rude behavior, even after they learned that Hawkins was a veteran. Copy. They're advising that this is not the right address. Hi, ma'am. What? Ma'am? Y'all violating my rights right now. Actually, we're not, dude. Yes, you are, because no, you're not, not telling me... Know who okay. That is, okay. As I said it to you. Listen to me, dude. We're not violating your rights. You are. How? Because Wait, you, which you, which right? You, which, you, you, which civil right are we violating? Why are you raising your? We're not violating anything. Raising okay. Why is he raising? So we are we are here on are a welfare check. I can go inside my. We are here house. on a. I don't know what that means. Stop talking. Let me talk. I don't have Over to stop a child talking. That okay. right? that Why is he I don't like to. I don't like it. He's raising his voice at me right now. Or nail polish. Okay. Okay, so we're we here, here. Your baby's right there. Okay, I'm, your wife. I'm gonna talk to you. First of all, you came to my house and say, "Is that my girlfriend okay. or my baby mama?" That's my wife. So okay. That's disrespectful. Starting okay. off. All right, sir. So that was disrespectful. Starting off, and, okay, and then he's raising his voice at me. If it was an actual emergency, like the cops mentioned it to be, they should have asked around at multiple houses rather than assuming which was their target house. The police also violated Hawkins' rights, as the Fourth Amendment also applies to an individual's home and even his front yard and porch. What's his problem? Okay. Okay. Nah, I need your badge numbers. I'm sorry. That's fine. I'll I'm give sorry. you my badge number. But so the reason we're here is now you're sure telling me the reason after okay. you told me to eat it, sir. So you told me to eat, right? That I, Marler, I messed up. I apologize. Now that you on film, you messed up. No, so so you you haven't violated any of my no, rights. No, the sir. first thing you said to me coming here was, so, "Is sir. that my baby mama or my girlfriend?" Sir, then he so started so raising his voice at me. From North Bay. Pause. I need your name and your badge number. Officer Conma, 107. Thank you. I need your name and your badge Officer number. Officer Marler, 102. And, and she's at my window. I told you not to go to my window. Close the blinds. Do you have a 14-year-old son? Close the blinds. Hold on, sir, sir. Close the blinds. Sir, do you have a 14-year-old son? Close the blinds. Close the blinds. I'm not going in the house. Are your Close children the blinds. okay, ma'am? Are your children okay? Okay. okay. Do they look okay, guy? He's asking if my children are okay. Cussing out a homeowner just because he wasn't giving the cop what he wanted? Is that how a person who literally fought for you deserves to be treated? My family was here all day. We had a good day. You're here telling me to eat it. It is. I don't know who the 14 year old is. Okay. I don't. Okay. I told you I had nine years in the military. Okay, we You told me to eat it. So good. Thank you for telling me to eat it. Please. After I served you for nine years, you. Parlor. Get the off my property. Parlor. I don't give you were probably a piece of <laughs> If you served and you telling okay. people to eat, you probably was a piece of All right. You can get the out of here. That's okay. what you can do, Marler. You Okay, let me explain, because we may have been... Said to me Did you go to North Bay today? What the is that? Get in the house. What the are y'all talking about? Nobody knows what y'all are talking about. Well, you're not letting me explain. You never explained. You started asking questions. He said, is that my girlfriend or my baby mama? Okay, 
I apologize for that. Okay, I'm here to clarify. So it may have been a miscommunication between North Bay and our dispatch. So we got a call that we need to... Okay, a three-year-old was brought into the hospital because she ingested nail polish remover. Okay. We don't know anything about okay. any of that. And that is absolutely fine. So this just I got know, a little out of hand. But you don't come to somebody's house and say, if that's your baby, I'm your girlfriend. You right, and I... Get... I completely understand You're that. You're supposed to be professional. Un- At least Officer Tiffany had some decency and de-escalated the situation professionally. If Marler had started the conversation with an explanation instead of bossing Hawkins around, things could have gone a lot smoother. Put yourself in my shoes. Two cops knock on your door. Boom, boom, boom. I'm in there having a good time with my wife okay. of five years they are who, I, who I have now okay. scared. Okay. You, you probably scared them. They don't know Officer Friendly yet. You're knocking on my window. All right. So Y'all want me to, like, quote what statute you guys are violating? I'm not one of those people, but I'm pretty sure I can go on Google and see if We have every right to be did. here to check on somebody, and you have the right to Google us and make sure. So you okay. have the right to be here and check on somebody, right? Yes. Did I have to come out my door? You did not. We needed exactly. to come check on exactly. the female. Okay, I'm and leaving now, you, sir. I, I gave you, I gave you an instruction. Okay. Have a good night, sir. The veteran did a great job putting the cops in their place. It's incidents like these that keep our police in check. Otherwise, these police unions always find a way to defend even the scummiest of officers. What do you think about police unions? Are they doing more harm than good? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. This is Detective Mystery signing off.